Okay, so I got this um chronograph, the Ace Tech AC5000. My birthday, uh, I believe the price is about fifty or sixty dollars. But um, this is what it looks like. Comes with things, a little sticker or something. We'll open this first and see. Oh yeah, stickers. I already have a few stickers like this. The rest of the letters are white right there, but um gives you this. Yes, earn a free tracer and um the warranty. This is a chronograph. It takes double A batteries. This is a manual. Check this out. Get some batteries for it. Alright, the any batteries you can use is like this. Probably some high drain ones. As I say right there. And I already put them in there, but um they go right there. Just slide this on and off. Has a tripod mount as well. So you can have it higher up. But um press the button to turn it on. And you have all these settings to it. Right here like the the units of how you want to measure it feet per second rounds per second or minute I have miles per second okay and you can reset it like that the, the um, infrared calibration which I am going to do just in case it takes that type of port not sure what it's called but you're just going to plug it up to your PC or whatever you got a laptop maybe it will still work and plug it up right back here. You can also not use batteries and just plug it up. Just like that. Now you're gonna go like that. And as you can see, it has the like plug-in port right there showing that it's plugged up to something. Take it out, it goes back to the original batteries. We already got the reset it it's already on um, 0 0.0 grams and i'm going to use one of my hand, uh maybe a handgun later but one of my egs first to see use my dsg all right so i'm gonna test it with my dsg which is about uh 300 fps on the dot it may be a little lower though Okay, it's showing up as 285. I could adjust the hop up, maybe that could be a problem. I'm gonna change it so I can see all the numbers that go through. First five shots. All right, I adjusted it to a little less hop to it. using a high cap magazine but it did go up a lot higher since I adjusted it it's around 320s now that was higher than the last time I tested it so I have to go back on my computer and change that but I'm gonna shoot again maybe I was hitting the side I don't know because they did say if you shoot the sides of the chronograph it will be like a higher rating That was 15 shots, and this is what I'm getting. So, around 320s, depending on how hopped it is, and a little over 323. And yeah, I think that was the highest, was 323, because at first it was in the 280s, and it was hopped to like the max. 
All right, so I got a different angle this time. Yeah, I need to get some probably better magazines, but um, first three shots is 215, 189, 67, which is quite weird, but this magazine is real loose. Once I have the magazine held in there right, it's perfect. It's getting the right numbers. This is the numbers it's getting. About 330 and under. These are, these are all on point two O's. I do want to try a... Um, Point twelve, which is like more so for springers and see how the numbers are then. I do want to try to get um, full auto on here to test that out. Okay, do it again. Uh, clear it, and it's pretty fast because um I got a eleven volt. 50C battery, it's pretty big. I uh, can't even hold it in that stock, right? So it's an awkward way I'm holding it, but I'm gonna reset it real quick. All right, got a full mag, load it back up. Gonna reset it again. All right. So I think it's about 21. Rounds for a second. I'm not really sure. I think it's probably about 20. The first time I saw it, it was like 20. Yeah. So, right here, saying about 20. Then it went lower, but pretty consistent. It did go out on 250. And the start was pretty low. But I'm gonna move on to the next gun. Let me use my P90, that's right back there. Okay, so I have my P90 now. Again, that's easier to hold. And I gotta find which one is semi-auto. I think this is it. Okay, let's see how strong it is. Whoa. Wait, that shouldn't be 400. Okay. Whoa. It's quite hot with this P90. So, I hope that that 55, this uh, 55th shot is not correct, but um, I don't know. That's a, weird if it was. That would be a 100 FPS drop, but um, it shoots pretty up there shooting at 370. Keep trying, it's kind of hard trying to get this right. All right, so now I'm using my Glock. Uh, gas blowback. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the uh, rounds per second as well. Okay, that's pretty solid, um, 324. Three oh nine. Proceeding to get lower and lower, which is kind of normal with these guns, but um, I didn't even fill it up. I just saw that it was still had some gas in there and I just started using it. Probably gonna get it down to the hundreds in a second. Okay. That was the last shot, 176 from 324 was the start. All right, I had to do it off camera because um, I had to hold the gun with two hands, but um, 
from the few shots, it's showing about 19 or 20 rounds per second. It's pretty close to what it should be. If I had some green gas, it probably would be even better because I, I am using propane. That's right down there. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for the chronograph. It's pretty accurate, actually. Because I could tell when it's in the 200s under the 250, till when it's like the slide's getting slower and it's starting to run out of gas. Especially when it's higher, like at um, that 392 is from a 12.12 gram BB. But uh, when it's at like 320s, I could feel how strong it is. You could feel like the pressure and all that. But um, it's a pretty good crown graph. It's um, pretty accurate. It has many settings as well. You can do up to 88. I think you could customize it too. Yeah, you can customize it, make it heavier to exactly one gram of a six millimeter BB, or you can change it, I think all the way up to 10 or even higher. It just keeps going, but um, yeah, 18 is the highest. But yeah, as many settings, I would like to use this on the air gun or something else that's a different caliber, like 22. You can use these settings as well. Backlight, contrast, all that. But uh, it's pretty good for the price it was, $60 on Amazon or 50 on Amazon. I know on Evike it's actually $60. Yeah, it's pretty it's a pretty good chronograph. There is a different one, but um, that one is a more expensive version. And uh, this one does have the USB right there. So it looks like inside. Yeah, that's pretty much it on the chronograph, the AC5000.